With almost 4,000 ghost towns in the United States and numerous others scattered globally, the opportunity to reside rent-free in a dilapidated town is quite plausible, offering a retreat from bustling neighbors. Although the majority of these locations are modest, some abandoned cities on a larger scale exist. Let's explore 15 deserted cities around the world together. Over the past few decades, China has undergone significant transformations, marked by remarkable economic progress for a considerable portion of its population. However, not all regions kept pace with this development, including certain cities and towns. And this is where our list begins at number 15, with Ordo City in China, constructed in the early 2000s with the capacity to accommodate over one million residents, stands as a stark example. Despite nearly two decades since its inception, the city currently houses only a fraction, one-tenth, of its intended population. Regrettably, the ambitious project initiated by the Chinese government turned out to be a colossal failure, incurring a cost exceeding a billion dollars for construction. Spanning 137 miles of eerily quiet expanse, Ordo City has been likened to a post-apocalyptic setting by many visitors. Condo complexes and towering structures stretch as far as the eye can see, with numerous unfinished buildings abandoned midway through construction. Situated in a country with a population nearing one and a half billion, Ordo City may offer a unique haven for peace and tranquility provided one is comfortable being the sole inhabitant amid the vast urban landscape. Ranking at number 14 is Hashima, Japan, commonly known as Battleship Island. Once holding the title of the most densely populated place on Earth, Hashima Island now stands completely abandoned, serving as a habitat for seabirds. This ghost town has remained uninhabited for over 40 years and is situated off the coast of Nagasaki. The Mitsubishi Corporation built Hashima at the turn of the 19th century, seizing the opportunity presented by Japan's newfound openness to foreign trade in the 1840s. Initially, Hashima flourished as it was strategically located near coal miners and their families, believed to be sitting atop a lucrative coal deposit. The Mitsubishi Corporation swiftly constructed a community with 10-story apartment buildings, courtyards, restaurants and schools, providing all the essentials for a thriving society. The island experienced a prosperous period, extracting over 4,000 metric tons of coal annually. However, as with all finite natural resources, the coal reserves depleted, prompting a mass exodus of Hashima residents until the island was deserted. While Hashima has gained popularity as a tourist site, it's worth noting that a significant number of its former inhabitants were forced laborers from Korea. Given this history, the cessation of the once thriving town's operations might be considered a positive outcome. Taking the 13th spot is Bodie, California, a quintessential representation of the ghost towns that captivate the imaginations of many, particularly Westerners and Americans. During the height of the California Gold Rush, Bodhi emerged as an attractive destination for fortune seekers, situated conveniently close to the action and initially boasting numerous vacancies. While Bodhi may have exuded beauty in the spring and summer, winters brought harsh conditions. Compounded by outbreaks of diseases, mining accidents, and a significant rise in crime, the town faced compelling reasons for its residents to abandon ship, or rather, Bodie. True to its Wild West reputation, Bodie, California, witnessed a decline as the gold rush fervor dwindled. By 1882, the town was virtually deserted, as the allure of gold couldn't outweigh the risks to life. Despite valiant efforts by a few remaining residents to revive the town, the decline proved irreversible. By 1940, Bodie, California, was left to the dominion of tumbleweeds and dust, a poignant testament to the boom-and-bust nature 
of the California Gold Rush era. Securing the 12th position is Pyramiden, an abandoned city that bears witness to the aftermath of the Soviet Union's collapse in 1989. Amid the optimism of newfound freedom, remnants of the past lingered, including the city of Pyramiden. This deserted enclave, once a thriving mining village, is perched on an island accessible only by sea or snowmobile, a challenging commute, especially considering Pyramiden's location on the Arctic Circle of Norway, where temperatures plummet significantly. Founded by the Swedes in the early 1900s, and later sold to the Soviet Union in 1927, Pyramiden thrived for seven decades as a coal mining hub. Tall apartment blocks and public buildings were erected, forming a circular layout with a central statue of Vladimir Lenin, evoking a distinct 1984 Big Brother ambience. The city was bustling with activity until its abrupt closure in 1990, prompted by the depletion of coal reserves leading to a cessation of work and subsequent exodus of residents just before the turn of the millennium. With no more coal and consequently no more livelihood, Pyramiden was left abandoned, relinquished to the elements. The once populous city now stands as a desolate home for birds, seals and the occasional polar bear. Claiming the eleventh spot is Akamara, a city in Georgia that was once home to 40,000 residents during its tenure as part of the Soviet Union. However, a visit today reveals a mere fraction of that population, with the majority comprising tourists drawn to witness the remnants of another abandoned city. Akamara, a significant mining town, faced a decline in the importance of coal as the 1900s progressed exacerbated by the emergence of more efficient and economical fuel sources. The turning point for Akamara came during the siege of Karachelli in 1992, when the town was isolated from essential supplies, necessitating the airlifting of basic necessities for 400 days. This challenging period marked the onset of Akamara's decline. While many buildings still stand, they house only a handful of residents each with the infrastructure visibly neglected over the decades, rendering some structures precarious. Amid speculations about the potential transformation of Akarmara into a resort town, the likelihood of such a venture materializing and securing funding remains uncertain, with the city standing as a poignant testament to the challenges faced by former mining communities in adapting to changing times. Securing the 10th position is Hutuan in China, also affectionately known as the Green Village. Contrary to the prevailing theme of abandonment, Hutuan presents a different narrative. Situated approximately 40 miles outside of Shanghai, this village bears a striking resemblance to China's version of the Shire, but stands as a long-abandoned town. Once inhabited by over 2,000 fishermen and their families, the exodus began in 1990, as the residents struggled to keep pace with the burgeoning fish industry in China. Seeking more suitable and lucrative opportunities, they migrated to the mainland. This phenomenon is not uncommon in China's smaller villages, and by 1994, nearly everyone had departed, paving the way for Mother Nature to reclaim the landscape. The village transformed into a lush haven with dense greenery concealing the materials of the abandoned homes. However, a select few villagers who chose to stay experienced a rejuvenation of sorts. Hutuan village has evolved into a major tourist attraction, and it's easy to understand why. The sprawling greenery stretches as far as the eye can see, creating a unique and picturesque town that stands out among its counterparts. Securing the ninth position is Coleman's Cop in Namibia, a captivating site often featured on numerous Instagram posts, showcasing the breathtaking spectacle where nature reclaims the remnants of human endeavor. Nestled in the Namib desert of Southern Africa, this abandoned city boasts a fascinating history that began in 1908. 
A railway worker, while clearing sand off the tracks, stumbled upon what he believed to be diamonds, a discovery that marked the start of a compelling tale. Rather than keeping the precious jewels for himself, the worker informed his employer, who seized the diamonds without offering any reward to the employee. News spread rapidly, leading to a massive diamond operation. In just four years, Coleman's cop became a major player, contributing millions of carats annually and comprising around 12% of the world's diamond supply. Transforming from a desolate desert, Coleman's cop thrived with homes, a post office, butcher, bakery, and even an ice cream factory. However, the story took a dark turn as control and mining rents fell into the hands of a private German company exploiting underpaid workers. The city, plagued by overcrowding and diminishing diamond reserves, eventually succumbed to decline in the 1930s as the mine ran dry. Despite its origins in human greed and exploitation, Coleman's Cop has evolved into one of the most iconic abandoned cities, showcasing the enduring imprint of nature, reclaiming the remnants of human ambition. Claiming the eighth position is Bombay Beach in California, a town that was once a thriving resort destination, but now stands as a relic of bygone days in the midst of desolation, located 40 miles away from the nearest settlement. In the early 1900s, a significant portion of the Colorado River was redirected towards a vast desert area in California, resulting in the formation of the Salton Sea. Waterfront properties sprang up swiftly, and Bombay Beach emerged as a sought-after place to live. However, the town's prosperity brought an influx of farming, and the pesticides used made their way into the Salton Sea, causing widespread death among aquatic organisms. The beaches, once vibrant, transformed into scenes reminiscent of a biblical plague, with dead fish washing ashore. Tourist businesses suffered, people avoided the beach, and vacationers steered clear of the unpleasant sight of bloated fish bodies. Presently, Bombay Beach exists as an abandoned post-apocalyptic shell of its former self. The skeletal remnants of fish are strewn about, and the once blue Salton Sea has turned brown, emanating a foul stench. The sand covering the beach is not sand at all, but rather a carpet of fish bones. Encountering Bombay Beach, it is advisable to stay in the car and roll up the windows to avoid the unsettling atmosphere. Securing the seventh position is Tianducheng, China, also known as the Sky City, a venture that stands as one of China's less successful infrastructure endeavors. Initiated in 2007 with the ambitious goal of recreating the essence of Paris, Tianducheng was meticulously crafted to mirror the French capital complete with period-correct architecture. Notable features included a 350 four-foot-tall replica of the Eiffel Tower in the city square, a fountain resembling the one in Luxembourg Gardens, and even a French-themed amusement park. Intended to offer a taste of European culture without residents having to leave China, Tianducheng was designed to accommodate over 10,000 people. However, Current occupancy falls far short of that target, with the city largely abandoned, although still hosting around 2,000 residents, reportedly all employed at the aforementioned theme park. The failure of Tianducheng to attract a substantial population can be attributed to poor planning. Situated in a rural area without convenient access from bustling metropolitan areas, the city finds itself cut off hindering potential residents from flocking to its French-themed charm. Presently, the occasional newlyweds enamored with French culture and tourists seeking ironic attractions constitute the limited visitors to this unique but sparsely populated locale. Occupying the sixth position is Cracco, Italy, an ancient town situated within the arch of Italy's giant boot. With a history dating back well before 1060, Krakow has endured armed conflicts, the influence of cruel monarchs, military occupations, and adverse political ideologies that have collectively left their mark on the town. While human-made strife pose challenges for Krakow's residents, 
geological disasters exacerbated their plight. In the late 1800s, a series of earthquakes, floods and mudslides plagued Krakow, rendering the living conditions increasingly perilous. The town's inhabitants began to abandon it en masse. By 1963, only 1,800 people remained until they were eventually compelled to leave for their safety, relocating to a newly built town below. Despite the departure of its residents, the structures and streets of Krakow endure. Remarkably, the town has become a popular destination not only for tourists, but also for big-budget film productions. Movies such as Quantum of Solace and The Passion of the Christ have taken advantage of Krakow's authentic atmosphere, utilizing the Italian ghost town as a backdrop for their cinematic endeavors. Securing the fifth position is Sanchipod City in Taipei City, Taiwan, a place that might make you question the existence of aliens. Construction on these UFO-style homes commenced in 1978 with the vision of creating a seaside holiday resort for both affluent Taiwanese and US military officers. Although the unconventional design may seem peculiar by contemporary standards, the UFO style was cutting edge in the 1970s. Plans were laid for the city to fulfill everyone's expectations, but within just two years, it became all but abandoned. Unlike many other cities with depleted mines or war-torn histories, Sanchi Pod City has a unique narrative marked by strange events. Multiple constructions inexplicably met their demise, car crashes occurred, and reports of hauntings surfaced. A pervasive sense of bad energy enveloped the place, with some attributing it to a disturbed Dutch graveyard and others linking it to a cursed ornament breaking, unleashing havoc. However, the most plausible explanation for the abandonment of Sanchipod City appears to be the exorbitant price tag. Too much money and not enough willing inhabitants. The city's futuristic design may have been ahead of its time, but financial constraints and a lack of prospective residents ultimately led to its abandonment. Securing the fourth position is Burj Al Babas in Turkey, a unique site featuring an entire city of abandoned castles, 399 to be exact. Originally conceived as a luxury housing development, Burj Al Babas eventually transformed into a massive graveyard of Disney-esque castles. By 2019, when the developers faced bankruptcy, the project targeted the world's wealthiest individuals seeking vacation homes in Turkey. Despite a few successful sales, the majority of investors withdrew, marking the beginning of the downfall for this extravagant dream town. As the development company accumulated a debt of $25 million, new housing regulations introduced by the Turkish government further complicated the situation, with Burj Al Babas failing to comply. Consequently, the once aspiring haven now stands still, likely abandoned indefinitely. However, the developers maintain a hopeful outlook, expressing their belief that selling 100 of these holiday castles could eliminate their debt and allow them to move forward. Doing the math, each castle is priced at a quarter of a million dollars. Despite the uncertainty of their future, Burj Al Babas boasts an entertainment center and Turkish baths alongside the rows of castles, though it remains uncertain if they will ever see actual use. Securing the third position is Centralia, Pennsylvania, once a thriving community centered around a coal mine. The town's fortunes took a drastic turn in 1962 when a coal fire ignited beneath it a fire that has been burning for the past 60 years and is expected to persist for another 250 years. Unlike a typical fire that can be extinguished with water, the subterranean fire in Centralia proved to be a persistent challenge. The ignition occurred when an attempt to clean the local landfill caused the coal seams beneath the surface to catch fire. Faced with an ongoing and potentially hazardous situation, most residents chose to leave. 
The fires not only posed a threat on their own, but also led to the emergence of sinkholes and the continuous release of carbon monoxide into the air, creating an unsafe environment 24 hours a day. In response, eminent domain was utilized to take control of the homes of residents who opted to remain, despite the risks. These individuals agreed to relinquish their properties to the government upon their passing. The Pennsylvania government officially condemned Centralia in 1992, rendering it a ghost town. However, the highway passing through Centralia has found a new lease on life, adorned with graffiti and art paying homage to the town's former residents. Remarkably, as of 2017, five people still called Centralia home, defying the town's ghostly reputation. Securing the second position is Kelso in San Bernardino, California, a town that thrived until the advent of diesel-powered locomotives revolutionized the rail industry. Established in 1905, Kelso housed a population of 2,000 individuals, predominantly engaged in railroad, mining, iron processing, and most notably, locomotive train maintenance facilities. However, the town's fate took a turn during the First World War when diesel-powered engines emerged, rendering steam engine locomotives obsolete and eliminating the need for maintenance and the workers associated with it. As the trains bypassed Kelso seeking maintenance elsewhere, the town experienced a mass exodus as residents sought new opportunities, potentially within the diesel engine industry. This departure had a detrimental impact on the local economy. By 1985, the once thriving train hub had bid its final farewell, and Kelso became an abandoned city with a population of zero. While it technically remains open for visitors, there's no one around to impede exploration of the old post offices, shops and homes, providing a glimpse into the bygone era when Kelso thrived as a bustling town in the early 1900s. Securing the top spot is Ashgabat, Turkmenistan, a city built in the early 1990s with the ambitious goal of ushering in a new prosperous era for the country. This vision was championed by the oppressive President Saparmurat Niyazov during Turkmenistan's tenure as a former Soviet Union country. The construction of Ashgabat commenced in 1991, featuring ostentatious record-breaking buildings designed to showcase Soviet ingenuity, particularly to the United States. A total of 543 buildings, crafted from luxury materials, adorned the city which also boasted the world's largest Ferris wheel. Despite the grandiosity of Ashgabat, life in the rest of the country struggled, with low life expectancies prevailing. Today, the once hopeful city is hauntingly referred to as the City of the Dead due to its apparent emptiness. The majority of residents have chosen to reside just beyond the city limits, and a considerable portion of Ashgabat lacks access to basic amenities such as electricity and clean water. Despite its peculiar composition, featuring mostly marble structures, the city conceals a multitude of dark secrets. While Ashgabat is technically open to tourists, the experience often leaves visitors with a disconcerting impression as the city's glossy exterior belies a complex and troubled reality. Thank you for embarking on this exploration of abandoned cities around the world. If you found this journey intriguing, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more riveting tales. Join us on future adventures as we uncover the mysteries of forgotten places. Until then, happy exploring and stay curious.